Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. I am so excited this evening. So there is a new update coming. It's a seven day rollout. It is coming very, very soon and we'll keep you all updated, but it's Design Space 6.6 .6, and this has two new fantastic features. The first is Project Collection so that you can actually create collections for your projects so you can organize your projects which is super exciting and then the second thing is something we've been waiting a really long time for and that is offset i am so excited offset gives you so many options you can create sticker outlines you can do cake toppers so you can do shadowed cake toppers you can do cake shakers with lots of different shadowed layers you can do shadow knockout easily it just opens up a whole new world so we're going to have a very quick play and then in the next week we'll look at it more in detail as I say, this is a seven day rollout. It's coming very soon. If you don't get it straight away, don't panic. You will get it. Now this is only available on desktop. So both collections and offset will only be available on desktop. With Windows, you need a 64 bit Windows and it has to be Windows 10. And with Mac, you need to have a minimum of 10.15, but most Mac users are already running at that anyway if they're using Design Space on their Mac. So first thing, we are going to look at the offset. So I'm just gonna to go to images and we're gonna use this image to begin with. So we're just going to insert to canvas. So let's say I wanted this to be a print and cut sticker. Before, all we'd be able to do is duplicate it, use our contour to create a solid background, and that would be it. And if we wanted to create a sticker outline, we would have to have done that in a third party program. You don't need to do that any longer. All we've got to do is come up to the top here to offset, and we're just going to click on the little drop down arrow and straight away you can see it comes up. So we've got a slider, very nice and easy to use. And then you can choose whether you want your offset to be curved or more angular. Now that will depend on the image or the fonts that you're using. We're going to keep it nice and simple to begin with and we're just gonna create a nice simple offset. And I like the way that that is. So I'm just gonna leave that and select apply. and you can see my offset is then there. Now, if I just wanted to cut this out, then I could, but equally, if I wanted this to be a sticker with the offset, what I can do now, if I want this to be a complete cut, is just go to my contour, contour away that middle. I can then change the color on that so I could make it white. I could then change the color on my image. And of course, if I wanted to add some text into there, I could. And then nice and easy, I'm just going to draw around and I'm going to flatten my image to that offset. So then I've created a solid outline sticker. So simple and easy. So next we're going to work with some text. So I'm just going to go up to my fonts and let's get a cool Cricut font. So let's do Alphalicious because that is one of my favorites. So let's say I wanted to create a layered cake topper, for example. Now this has got a second layer. So you can see that it has got a slight offset, but I'm going to get rid of that so we're just gonna work with the single layer. We're going to drop down offset. And again, we can choose just by using the slider how great we want that offset to be. And we can have it so that they're not touching if we don't want to. So if we take it right down, we can have it so we've just got that offset on the individual letters. Equally, you can do an inverted offset as well. So if we start going in, you can see that it's taking that offset 
within the O as well. But we're going to go for just a slight one like that. So some of them are touching and some of them aren't. Now you can choose, as we said before, to either have it curved or slightly angular, but it will depend on the font or the image you're using. And also you can choose whether to weld the offset or to have it as individual offset pieces. So if I don't weld this, you'll see that they become individual offsets for the letters. I do, however, want them welded and I want it to be one layer. So I'm going to apply. So that's our first offset, but I can then create an offset from the offset. So if I then make sure that my offset is selected and we then go to the drop down menu, again, we can create that offset. So let's do that one there and select apply. And you'll see here, we've got some gaps. So if I wanted that to be solid, nice and easy, all I'm going to do is click on it, go to my contour, and then just contour away those two cuts. So that then becomes solid. And I can go even further than that. If I make sure this one's selected, I can choose offset again. And of course I can keep them all the same size of offset or I can have them all different. And I can then select apply. And of course I can change the colors as well. So I could then go and cut each of those out and I could create a really beautiful cake topper if I wanted. So next I'm gonna show you just very quickly a knockout using shadow text. So let's find a nice chunky font. So let's go with impact. So I've just typed cricket. And let's just reduce that letter space slightly. And then again, let's go to text. And we're going to choose a different font. So let's choose Eastern because that's a nice font. And I can then write my text. So I've got my text written out and I'm just going to size it up. And then we're going to create our offset. So we've got a nice kind of knockout going on. So all I'm going to do is go to offset. I can then choose how large or how small I want my offset to be. So let's go with there. And again, I'm going to choose to weld the offset so it's one layer and apply it. And I'm just going to contour away the middle of that O. And then I'm going to hide my actual text. I can then bring this over and if we change the color on it, we can see it a bit better. I'm then going to highlight and slice. And then you can see that we've created a nice, quick, easy knockout using two lots of fonts and our offset. And you can play to your heart's content. And we will be doing a lot more in-depth tutorials. I just wanted to take you through the basics because this is fantastic. I also just want to quickly show you with a square If we select the offset, again, we can choose how large or how small we want it to be. At the moment, if you look at those corners, they're set to curve. We can change them so they are more angled. So you've got that option as well. So if we go to my projects, you can now see that we've got collections. So I've got 619 projects. So let's open up 
a collection. So let's just call this uh, Halloween and create. And then I can choose organize. So if I select organize and let's just choose these, this project here and this project here and then next. I can then choose to put those into that collection and done. So that's amazing that we can now actually organize our projects. Absolutely brilliant. If you're an Access member, you can create unlimited collections. So you can have as many collections as you like. If you're a non-Access member, then you'll only be able to create five collections. So that's just something to bear in mind. I am honestly so, so excited about this. It just opens up so much. It really does. So as I say, in the next week or so, we'll be doing a lot more tutorials on this. I will keep you updated as to when this is going to start the seven day rollout. Really excited. I just cannot wait to really play with the offset and to actually get organizing all my projects. If you're excited, let me know because I certainly am. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.